Wayne Rooney, the Englishman has pretty much been the face of Manchester United going back in 2004 when he did arrive from Everton. 13 years ago, Wayne Rooney came to Manchester United and he has been a loyal player for United ever since then. The Englishman has had his ups and downs at Manchester United. He's also had a lot of success at United. But today, I've got 10 things you probably didn't know about Wayne Rooney. A couple of days ago, I did see a comment from one of you guys. One of you guys wanted to see 10 things you didn't know about Shorty. That comment got about 80 thumbs up and you guys just really supported it. I will be releasing that video once we do hit 50,000 subscribers. It's gonna be a 50,000 subscriber special, 10 things you didn't know about Shorty. And if you are new to the channel, click the subscribe button. Also, while you're down there, click on the bell button so you get notified every time I do upload. And also like today's video if you do go on to enjoy it. Number 10, eligible to play for Ireland. We all know Wayne Rooney as an Englishman, but Rooney could have played for Ireland as his grandparents are of Irish origin. Region. The Irish supporters tried to convince the youngster to commit for the Irish national side, but Rooney did reject that. Rooney did go on to play for the English national side and actually captaining the English national side. Number nine, booed on his Everton debut. At the age of 16, on the 17th of August 2002, Wayne Rooney made his first appearance ever in the Premier League. He was actually the youngest player in Everton's history. He did get subbed on during the game against Tottenham Hotspur and he was met with quite a hostile reception from the Spurs fans. With Rooney only being 16 years old, this was a perfect time for Spurs fans to actually get into the head of the youngster. They started chanting Huaya at him throughout the game and actually started booing him. And we all know that Spurs fans do know who Rooney is right now in this day. Number eight, met his wife at school. Colleen and Wayne Rooney got married back in 2008 in Italy. The couple first met when Colleen Rooney's wife was actually only 12 years old. However, they actually became a couple four years later after they did leave secondary school. The couple have gone on to have three children, Kai, Clay, and Kit Rooney, and they are all boys. And hopefully, the future of Manchester United looks bright if Rooney's sons do follow in his dad's footsteps. Number seven, devoted Catholic. Here's something that you probably didn't know. Wayne Rooney is a devoted Roman Catholic and he's very serious about his faith. Rooney has been spotted wearing a rosary around his neck during football games and especially during the 2010 World Cup when people did pick up on it. Rooney has gone on to say that the knowledge that he has about religion is power and he's gone on to quote, I pray to God, of course, I believe in God. I don't pray him to help me score goals. I pray for the health of me and everyone on the pitch. It is something I have always done. I pray at night, I pray for my family and friends and for the health of everyone I love. Number six. Harry Potter fan. Wayne Rooney is a huge Harry Potter fan. He's a huge fan of actually the books of J.K. Rowling's global bestseller. Rooney has gone on to say that he likes Harry Potter books because it keeps his imagination going. And obviously J.K. Rowling's books have also been produced into movies, which Rooney is also a huge fan of the Harry Potter series, both the books and the movies. Number five, boxing fan. While Rooney does love football, one of his favorite sports to watch is boxing and he actually practices it as well. Rooney has also gone on to reveal that there's a, quite a few players at Manchester United that are also boxing fans and they would often gather around their laptop to watch a few boxing matches whenever they were around each other. His favorite boxer back in the day was also Mike Tyson and we all know the story about Wayne Rooney getting knocked out and then he did go on to play a game for United and then he did do that iconic boxing celebration. Number four, listens to rap. Who would have thought this man, Wayne Rooney, actually likes rap. He enjoys his free time by listening to music by 50 Cent and Eminem, something that I would never have thought of Wayne Rooney liking rap and really enjoying Eminem and 50 Cent's music. Number three, Rooney versus authority. Even though Rooney has been the captain of both Manchester United and the English national side, he's also had a bit of a mouth on him also. This goes back when he was at school, when he would have a fair share of outbursts and punishments. And he also loves to talk back to those who are of a higher authority, especially when he arrived at Everton being only 16 years old. He once had an altercation with Everton's assistant manager when the Everton assistant manager did quote to Rooney, speak to me like that again and you'll be back in the youth team. And Rooney's response was, no, I won't. Sometimes you need that cockiness out on the football pitch, whether that's to teammates, opponents, or in Rooney's case, even coaching staff. 
Number two, Newcastle United almost signed him. When Rooney was at Everton and he was going to make the move to Manchester United, before he made the move to Manchester United, it was known that Newcastle United legendary manager Bobby Robson was amazed by Rooney's potential and knew that he had potential and he was willing to fork out $20 million for the young forward. The bid was eventually turned down and Manchester United's former manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, one of the greatest managers ever at Manchester United, stepped in and managed to bring Bringing Rooney to Old Trafford for 25.6 million pounds. Number one, David Moyes sued him for 500,000 pounds in 2006. And we wonder why David Moyes and Manchester United didn't work out. David Moyes, who actually managed Wayne Rooney at Everton and Manchester United, actually sued him back in 2006. In Rooney's autobiography titled Wayne Rooney, My Story So Far, Rooney actually went on to actually say some hurtful claims about David Moyes. And he went on to accuse Moyes of disclosing the private details of his Everton departure to the press. David Moyes not liking that, he went on to sue Wayne Rooney and Rooney later admitted to being wrong and actually reached a 500,000 pound settlement with his former manager. And we wonder why David Moyes didn't work out at Manchester United. Guys, that is the 10 things you probably didn't know about Wayne Rooney. Who do you want to see tomorrow? Let me know down below in the comment section. Like today's video, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.